Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm going to react to the fourth track on the album of Nightwish, Human Nature. And this is called Harvest. This is, I think, one of the less popular tracks on the album as far as I have seen in the comment section. But, I mean, either way, I'm gonna listen to it no matter what. I have read the lyrics beforehand and saw one interpretation of the lyrics, but... I'm not too sure what it's exactly about. I think it has to do something with life and death, the circle of life um, in general, but I'm not too sure specifically what everything is about. So, But either way, let's check it out. It's the fourth track. So next week will be the fifth track, Pan. And I think that's a pretty popular one as well. Guys, if you haven't seen, I already did the first three tracks of the album being Music, Noise and Shoemaker. So if you haven't, definitely check those out. The links will be in the description down below. I will do the whole album, of course, and I should be able to do a live stream for the second CD which is an instrumental CD. And I, will, I was planning to do that in one take on a live stream. But that's not for now yet, so let's check out Harvests. Let's go. Okay, like the percussion in the beginning, very different. Same symbol. My harvest will come, tiny followers straw. Okay, a totally different feel so far. I will try not to pause too many times. But it's a very fitting picture here as harvest means, of course, the harvest of grain and such. And it's a similar kind of vibe that you get by this picture. It's not exactly grain. It looks more like, like dried up grass, but I mean, still fitting, I think. A different vibe so far. Not really a rock vibe, but more like an ancestral vibe, uh, tribal vibe. Um, yeah, let's return a little bit to see where this goes. My harvest will come, tiny followers straw among the millions facing to the sun. I is this Troy that's singing? For a man whose path has just begun. Something unsung awakens. Okay, it's different. Ordinary code. Give mankind a rose so we can see the beautiful die. Strange piece of stone, harvest over crops, and a child's face that glow before the side. It has Join a hopeful vibe. Harvest of hundred fields, hearty and tame. All going back to one single grain of the light to the coming day, inspire a child. Water the fields, surrender to the earth. Water. Okay, so that, that part was very interesting because I think it's Troy that does the main vocal here. And uh, the low voice there is Marco, I believe. And then Flora is doing a background vocal as well, or vocal part as well. I don't know why, but it gives some kind of Lion King vibe, I think. Some African hopeful vibe. Very different than what we're used to here from, from Nightwish. Let's see where this goes. No guitar whatsoever so far. I mean, no, that, that's not true. There was a kind of, I don't know, guitar... Probably it's not a guitar, but it's a dim it's a similar sound that we heard from one of the instruments that Troy plays, I believe. Uh, but I don't exactly know the name from it. Guys, let me know in the comment section below. I'm not too sure. I join the harvest of hundred fields, hearty and tame. All going back to one single grain of the light to the coming day, inspire a child. Only voices here. And you hear the drums coming. Water the fields, surrender to the earth. Water the fields, surrender to the earth. They have beauty beyond the poetry, but choose a silent misery. The deeper they see, the less remains. 
They'll find the pretty words and tame flocks to her. There's that sort of carousal of day. Join the harvest of hundred fields, hearty and tame. All going back to one single grain of the light to the coming day. Inspire a child, water the fields, surrender to the earth. Water the fields, surrender to the Okay, it's very fitting. And like I said, I think it's a little bit about the circle of life. And what's very coincidental right now is that it reminded me of the Lion King. And there, the circle of life is actually a track in the movie. The circle of life by Elton John. And the whole red line through that movie is, is kind of also based on the circle of life. Or what Mufasa teaches uh, Simba, let's say. And here we see a similar thing uh, going back to one single grain from a whole grain field and the harvest of, of grain, let's say, and going back to just one grain and having a new generation of grain that also will be harvest in the future, let's say. And, and the picture here also gives a similar vibe, I think. You see the, the grain fields, but there's some graves in here as well. So you have a little bit of the vibe between life and death and the circle of life in there. I mean, that's what I interpret from this, let's say. It's totally different than what I would have expected from the song even though it does fit the topic of the song let's say also piano in the background and a little bit of strings yeah the background stringed instrument it's not a guitar but it's one of the instruments that Troy plays, that Troy plays, and the clap. Oh, here we go. Okay, I was waiting for the distorted guitar. Oh, yes! <laughs> All of a sudden. Oh man, I like this part. <laughs> Goosebumps! Oh yes, I love this. Oh, the symbol again there. in this is so great oh, and multiple layers there guys I will listen to this part again I always I, I love it so much like Nightwish is a symphonic metal band but there's such a big Celtic and Irish influence in their songs sometimes and that's such a nice vibe like that's some kind of folk style but with rock influences in there or vice versa let's say I always love when they do this kind of stuff and it reminds me so much of movies like uh, certain parts in, in Lord of the Rings have uh, a very very similar vibes like that or or vikings or i don't know it's so it gives such a nice vibe the combination between the distorted guitars and the uh, flutes slash bagpipes slash other instruments that troy adds to this man this this part just amped it up big time for me i was waiting for a part like this in the song and all of a sudden they come in like that very surprising but uh what i was about to say also is that like we heard before in the song and in a lot of other of their songs they have multiple layers multiple backgrounds and different layers there but they also make use of that in the instrumentation so they have multiple layers of the melody in different pitches let's say like you have a backing vocal but it's a backing instrument let's say that's also a melody in there 
Oh man, okay, I want to hear that part again from where I think it's somewhere around here that that part begins. I think here it will begin. Here we go. Oh no. Oh yeah, yes, yeah. first the claps. Yes, here we go. Man. Here you have the backing instrument, let's say. The second player. Different instruments, same one melody. Oh. Man, are those bagpipes? Different rhythm here, accents are different. Nice the piano in there. I didn't notice it before in the other parts. I mean the melodic part. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, what it reminds me of, one of the songs of Nightwish, and it's one of my favorites and most fun songs that I know from them, is I Want My Tears Back. That one also has a very Celtic vibe to it and a very similar combination of the instruments, which gives that vibe. Let's say, very fun, very fun vibe in there. I do want to see in the lyrics there, there is at certain point, offer light to the coming day, inspire a child. I think what that means or what they want to say with that is like, like inspire a child, like show the next generation what you've learned and what is beautiful about the world and what they're supposed to do so that you can rest and die in peace so your task is to teach the next generation what they should do pass on what you know and then being able to die knowing that the next generation will be able to also do the same thing that's what i think that means i do not really know arrive alive there in the lyrics what they exactly mean by that guys i don't know if i got everything in this uh probably not again um but if you know more about the song and the story behind it then definitely let me know in the comment section below very surprising actually uh i thought by hearing and i should have known better but i thought uh, by hearing the first part that it was going to be a much softer and similar vibe the whole way through but I should have known better I like Nightwish always gives some variety in the in their songs and again they did that I can't really say 
that it's the favorite one of mine from the album but it's a very hopeful vibe and i feel good listening to it so that's already a very good sign guys i hope you enjoyed my reaction to harvest from nightwish definitely stay tuned for the next one on the album being pan and that one will be up in two weeks so yeah definitely subscribe and put the bell on if you want to get notified when i post the next videos from Nightwish. I of course also have a lot of other Nightwish reactions uh, aside from their new album so the links will all be in the description down below so definitely check those out. I also have other reaction videos, I have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out so thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye! Uh, and I think that's a pretty the harvest of of um, yeah. Let let's let's return a little bit toward. There was this. There was a um, uh, from a uh, and and the 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 whole of uh, of of. I mean that's that's what I interpreted for from that. That's what I interpret. It's a it, totally. Uh, the 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 topic of the of uh but but we like we hear like we heard in a bit so I I I'm th I think that is definitely stay tuned for and definitely let's say guys I also I also have of course.